ABC Mindanawan Broadcasting Channel Special Report Special Report As we are gathered here for an, an important activity for our learners, and as we say in DepEd, para sa bata and para sa bayan. And we are so glad to see all of you, our dear stakeholders, as we believe that when a community cares about the school, the school performs better. And community support is a shared characteristic of high-performing schools. With that, a healthy relationship between the school and the community is very important as this will enable everyone to work harmoniously which will have a positive impact to the students, to the school, and the entire community. Friends, this is the Stakeholders Forum for the implementation of Barcada Contra Droga here in Ozami City National High School, we say good afternoon to our division officials headed by the Chief Education Supervisor of the School Governance and Operations Division. A big round of applause for Chief Susan Epifania B. Carpio together with our Medical Officer 3 and the Division and the Coordinator, Dr. Alice Fesi Paderanga, and all our division personnel, good afternoon. We also say good afternoon and thank you very much to our stakeholders coming from the different agencies and organizations. My warm greetings also to the Ozami City National High School family with our school principal, Ma'am Lilibet Abamonga, the department heads, the teachers, the students, and to all of us, this is once more a very, a very meaningful activity para sa bata and para sa bayan, the Stakeholders Forum. And as we start, may I invite everyone to stand for the invocation and the singing of our national anthem with the members of the Sinning Contra Droga. <laughs> Thank you. 
Zami City National High School, we deliver our dreams of a drug-free community and to strengthen the implementation of Barcada Contra Droga, we have established our support or subgroups with the acronym SMILE, Sinning Media, Sports, Livelihood, and Education. And now, let's have the members of the Sinning Contra Droga, a big round of applause. Yeah. 
And gentlemen, we say yes to music and no to drugs. The members of the Sinning Contra Droga, a support group or a subgroup of the Barcada Contra Droga here in Ozami City National High School. The Barcada Contra Droga is a peer group organized to provide and support school activities that promote awareness and intervention to drug abuse and its related issues. And we are so glad to say that the BKD implementation in Ozami City National High School has the strong support of the community, most especially our dear stakeholders. And that is why this activity aims to honor and recognize the very important role of the stakeholders in the implementation of the, of the different programs projects and thrusts of the Department of Education. With that, for the acknowledgement of the stakeholders, please welcome the Head Teacher 5 of the English Department and at the same time, the School-Based Management Coordinator of our school, Ma'am Clarissa P. Catel. Our warmest greetings to our distinguished guest from the Division of Osami City headed by our chief in the SGUD, Ma'am Susan Ifepanya Carpio, together with Dr. Alice Fe Padiranga, our Division BKD coordinator, Ma'am Chen, Ma'am Arlene, and our district supervisor, Ma'am Jasmine Gaugao. We have also from the Sagundiang Kabataan office, represented by Norimi Santiago, our SK Federated, of course, our GPTA President, Sir Yulan Ingrasha, Barangay Council of Laman, Sir Jewel Patigayon, Education Committee Chair, our Chief, Ma'am Shela Acosta from the PNP Office, from the Business Sectors, Juhan Squisim, we have from Crown Paper, from FJK, and from Bryant Milling Marketing. Of course, our partners from the DSWD, Sanjeev Tan, Ma'am Shaira Bakur, and company. We have also, thank you very much, media from the Mindanaoan Broadcasting Channel, and from our Population Program Officer, City Health Office, Ma'am Lynette Bahau. Um, from our religious sector, Sir Pastor Alfonso Betet. And of course, from the LGU, the Local Government Unit from the Office of Ma'am Catherine Lim, it is represented. Thank you, Ma'am, for coming. A pleasant afternoon to each and every one of us, my colleagues, my department heads, the principal of Osami City National High School, principals kay Tuluk, kabuk among principal, um, curriculum chairpersons, and the officers of the BK Day, um, the students. This is a great opportunity to speak with this group of brilliant educators and a privilege to share of what Osami City National High School has. The school is very much thankful with the continuous and overwhelming support from you, our stakeholders. 
Dako kaayo among pasalamat kaninyo kay kung without you our stakeholders our accomplishments won't be possible. Um, it would be for moral and financial support. Because of you, the students, students and teachers um, was awarded. We have these accomplishments. Last year, not, not last year, but last January 2019, delegation coming from our school for the National Schools Press Conference won um, in the uh, one first place in the radio broadcasting same with the national science and technology fair at baguio city last january 2019 we have also the condiman national competition at malulos bulacan just this month and the first international ballroom championship at davao city last august 2019 we have also the Regional Festival of Talents at Villanoy by Misamis Oriental of this month. We have also attended and participated at Maniwai Prutas Festival, Rizal, Sambuanga del Sur, and of course, the Higala Ay Choral Competition at Cagayan de Oro City. With this, Osami City National High School humbly presents to you or the, the five-minute school-based or the SBM video presentation. Ozami City National High School was established in the year 1952 through the joint efforts of the city officials and the division personnel. The school is owned through the deed of donation entered into by the Department of Education, Culture and Sports represented by the late school's division superintendent, Mr. Geogracias Cajigas and the late city mayor, Honorable Fernando Bernal. The goal of ensuring that the school is environmentally sustainable and conducive to learning, OCNHS has conducted the Brigada Escuela, which brought together education stakeholders to participate and contribute their time, effort, and resources to prepare the school facilities for the opening of the school year. So another thing is intensifying the virtual classes that will attune to the demand of the millennials. With the type of learners we have in the 21st century, where they are more fast-paced and gadgets are readily available, Google Classroom is a great tool in the teaching learning process. We cannot deny the fact that learners today are media-oriented. That is why I use Twitter in my class. I find it very effective because it enhances students' interest in the lesson. As a digital government program from several of the City National High School, I found it very important to help them develop insights on how the online world can influence them in their choices. Twitter helps me a lot in my studies because it makes my lesson more interesting and I love answering the quizzes given by my teacher online. I it is where great educational leaders, outstanding teachers, and supportive stakeholders 
work hand in hand in order to produce excellent learners and responsible individuals. Truly, Ozami City National High School is a home of champions. Ozami City National High School prepares the 21st century learners for tomorrow's world. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every student through employing innovative teaching strategies and instructional materials that are attuned to the needs of every learner. To foster love for reading among the students, a relaxing reading gazebo has been constructed. The LRMDS Center provides teachers with available and downloadable instructional materials. The e-library and research hub caters to students' research activities, thereby magnifying scientific inquiry and research. Most importantly is the transparency in the transactions where every record of the school is made known by the stakeholders. The school report card and transparency and information board give the OCNHS community updates on the financial reports of the school. In an effort to raise the key performance, the school has come up with the following measures. The name of you, strong factor is Hiniusa or Hiniusa para sa tanan. This is a strong collaboration among members of the stakeholders. Hiusa ta or Hiniusang Ugma Alang sa tanan is an intervention schemed to intensify cooperation between internal and external stakeholders. To lift up and raise our schools to a place that suits the 21st century learners, the school, the stakeholders, and the community work together to help the learners. Our stakeholders are our partners in building a better learning environment. Indeed, OCNHS links people together in building a better school community. This is Ozami City National High School. Together, we deliver our dreams. With our new secondary school principal, Ma'am Lelibeth Y. Abamunga, and with Ma'am Ali Bungkawil. With the partnership of this group of individuals, 
our dear stakeholders. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Our stakeholders are our partners as we together deliver our dreams here in Osamisi National High School. Thank you very much. The head teacher of the English department and our SBM coordinator, Ma'am Clarissa Cathedral. At this time, we shall proceed to the statement of purpose. And this is, of course, to be given by our principal to Ma'am Lilibet Y. Ababonga. A big round of applause, please. Good afternoon to everyone. Of course, to our team in the di Division of Azami City, Ma'am Susan Carpio, Dr. Paderanga, Ma'am Arlene, our PSDS, Madoke Gaugao, Ma'am Chin Chin, to all the st stakeholders present, the OCNHS family, the officers of this BPD, and everybody who is present. So good afternoon. So this Barcada Contra Droga of OCNHS uh, was validated actually last uh, October 30 by the regional office. And then we are proud to inform everyone uh, because the, after the validation, one week after I think, the result was given, of course, to the division office. So a big hand to Ozami City National High School for winning as the top among the 14 divisions of the Region 10. So, wala mi mahimo kung wala kamong mga stakeholders. Because during the validation, uh, the validating team will not ask us. Mamon siya yung gihimo, wala. Asa sila mangutana nganha kaninyo ng mga stakeholders what kind of support or information you have learned you have done to the schools mangutana sila sa mga bata di unsa ninyo ang mga programs or katong dimension ganiha nga program smile so actually uh, naa sa inyong mga kamot ang kalampusan ang kadaugan ni ining nga programa barkada kontra druga now, to prepare for the, this big event, we would like to empower everyone by uh, providing you some information, um, understanding about what BKD is. Kay basin katong ubang ni Adiri, bago to sila. Wala pa sila na inform what Barkada Contra Droga Program is all about. So, our objectives are purpose for today's event to raise awareness and impact of the BKD programs and advocacies in preparation for the national validation that may come this month of September, October, November, and December. So in other words, we will just prepare ourselves for the national uh, validation so anytime they will, we will receive an information from the central office, then kami, igo dagyon mo pindot mo text sa inyo ha, nga naa sila ugma dayon. So meaning, mo ang higit mo pagka ugma dayon. Okay. So to um, second is to present to present the accomplishment and plans for the upcoming school year activities depicting the Barcada Contra Droga and to recognize the support, of course, your involvement of this uh, activity. And at the end of this forum, um, the OCNHS, through our chief and Dr. Paderanga, will give you your certificates of appreciation recognition as uh, recognizing your, what's this, all-out support for OCNHS, specifically this program, Barcada Contra Droga. So for that, again, congratulations to our stakeholders, to our learners, to the committee, to the team in the SDOD, and everyone to the media, thank you so much. Again, without you, 
we could not achieve this far. So maayong hapon sa tanan. Emphasizing the importance of the support coming from the stakeholders, our school principal to once again, Ma'am Lili Betuay Abamonga. And let's learn more this time about the legal basis of the implementation of Barcada Contra Droga, not only in Ozami City National High School, but the entire country. Let's have our Medical Officer 3 of the Division of Ozami City and the Division National Drug Education Program Coordinator, a big round of applause for Dr. Alice Fe C. Paderanga. Thank you, Sir Chuwi. May hapon mga kaburks, mga kabarkada kontra droga. May hapon. So this afternoon, I am tasked to give you the legal basis of the Barkada Contra Droga Program. Uh, pursuant to Section 43, Article 4 of the Republic Act 9165, otherwise known as the Cons Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002 and the Dangerous Drugs Board Regulation Number 5, Series 2007, institutionalizing the Barcada Contra Droga Program. The Division Memorandum Number 262, Series 2019, was issued for the establishment. Thank you. For the establishment of Barcada Contra Droga chapters in public secondary schools. DEPED Memorandum Number 200, Series 2016, strengthening the National Drug Education Program is in schools is also in place. So, ang NDEP has five components. So, ang um, curriculum and the instruction, wherein ang atuang drug abuse prevention education is integrated in class in where it applies. Then, ang co-curricular activities and ancillary uh, Services na ata diri ang atong barkada kontra droga. Then information drive, ang mga in information education, communication materials, guidance and counseling, scouting, sports. Ang katong ilang project smile, ilahang ipakita onya no, unsa nang S M I L E. Dayon ang um, cultural and rec recreational activities, livelihood, religious and civic activities. Then environmental concerns. Naaputay teacher and staff development, wherein ang atong mga maestra, atong mga employees are oriented about what National Drug Education Program is. There is also parental education. Mao na nga naakaron ng atong GPTA. Sa hinaupon ta sa sunod atong apilon ang urban officers pud sir. No? Then, and community outreach. Then, ang ato ang mga partners sa mass media. And now, ang social media. Na atay FB account, ma'am, no? sa atong school BKD. Then, sponsorship of contests and exhibitions. Uh, symposia, lect lectures, conferences, and sa putting up of tarps. And number five is research and evaluation. So as Mom Libet said, last August 30th, we were all here for the regional validation for the regional search for the outstanding Barcada Contra Droga implementation in secondary schools for the school year 2018-2019. Og again, daghan ka yung salamat sa inyong makaduna yung suporta no para sa bata para sa bayan. O kita ang napiling regional champion sa maong contest. So, daghan kayong salamat. And congratulations ka na tanan. So, atul ni atong maong validation, we were divided into three groups, no? Then, ang atong regional validation team, na after, during the exit conference, na-impressed kayo sila sa grupo sa 
uh, stakeholders. And uh, talagsaon daw ang inyong suporta nga gipakita para sa BKD sa Osami City National High School Chapter. Then, in fact, si Dr. Ray Kagang, katong ato ang NDEP Regional Coordinator, was asked by our Regional Director Arturo Bayukot, o nga nung ang Osamis Giudaw ang nakadaog. O ingingon si Dr. Kagang, grabe good ang suporta sa mga stakeholders director. O daghan kaayo ilahang stakeholders sa Osamis. So dapat good silang makadaog. Then, during the validation in our sessions together with the teachers, head teachers, supervisors, principals also, Dr. Kagang stressed nga dili sa yudta ang ay matulog. Mauna nga ni ata karon kay o pagayon pa nganong ni enter. So as champion, as a regional champion, we are vying to become a national winner. So we are again asking for your help kay inig ani sa national validators. Manawag as mam Ma said Manawag na po din ninyo or mag-text kay di man ta kay Balukong Kanus ah. From here on up to December of this year, muani ang national validators. And again, magpangutana na po sila natong tanan kung unsay atong nahimo. Mauna nga ni ata karon kay aron uh, to strengthen our knowledge aron usamot gyud ta og kabright og unsa gyud diining barkada kontra droga. Igo lang ba ang atong pag-ari diri aning mao nga forum or igo lang ba nga mohatag tag donation or igo lang ba although your donations are very much welcome no kay alang-alang asa mig iprint og mga tarpaulin kita mo sa mga tarpaulin around the inside and outside the school dito sa mga dalan no aron atong mapahibalo sa uban katauhan nga naay such a thing as barkada kontra droga Then, um, unsay ato ang impact sa atong pagsuporta sa barkada kontra droga. Naka, naka tabang bata sa atong mga kabataan para dili mundang og skwela, para dili mudaghan ang teenage pregnancy. Problema ni ma'am, ah, diri ni sa ato ang popcom. Then, um, Igo lang ba nga uh, silang ma'am o sir mo attend sa dito sa meeting sa barangay session sa duha ka barangay Lamaan o Tinago or igo lang ba nga mo adto dito sa city council nga session or um, so aron kita makahibalo og dugang no aron ako ipakita karon ang unod og unsa ang DDB So, mauna nga ato ang gigamit ang konsepto sa barkada no kay ang atong mga kabataan ang tendencies of the youth dali ang ilang gi term no dali ma boring <laughs> dali ma bored ang boredom then curiosity mao gini usa sa cause nga ang bata musangkot sa drug use then experimentation explorative nature and yeah, love for adventure of enthusiasm Then, mauni siya, changes in behavior sa itong mga kabataan, no? mood and preferences, muagi o adolescence. So, ang Barkada Contra Droga was born out of young people's desire to have a youth core group who shall serve as role models they can Emulate. So sila mo'y serve ang ato ang mga kabataan mo'y serve as catalyst sa ilahang peer nga group, no? sa ilahang mga kaedad para nga dili, nga mag form silag mga group pareha ining na ay sining kontra droga, media kontra droga, sports kontra droga, no? livelihood o edukasyon. Then, Barkada Contra Droga is a symbol of a healthy, drug-free youth group 
which embodies the qualities of most young people look for as a model. So, ang mga kabarkada are God-fearing, self-disciplined, trustworthy, and a true friend. Best of friends, actually. So it aims to empower the individual to be the catalyst within his or her peer groups in advocating a healthy, drug-free lifestyles through involvement in various positive, wholesome activities. So it further helps the individual to withstand the negative pressures of peers by developing their resistance and make the empowered youth the agents of change. Ang usa ka isig kabarkada is an agent of change by positively influencing their peers to keep away from drugs. So mauni nga ato ning gihimo actually daghan agencies involved in it. So it is a nationwide barkadahan concept. It's a collective action among the youth or the students of the community or school that would strengthen camaraderie collaboration, cooperation, and solidarity in their common commitment to attain a drug-free lifestyle. So, ang objectives of BKD in general, BKD seems to strengthen, seeks to strengthen rather, the individual's capacity to promote and advocate healthy drug-free lifestyle. Specifically, the Barcada Contra Droga aims to establish a nationwide BKD movement to train people in advocating a healthy, drug-free lifestyle, to create a truly drug-free environment in home, school, and community. Next is to encourage productive use of time and engage in wholesome alternative activities and to provide support services towards sustainability of Barcada Contra Droga movement. So, what benefits do we get from joining Barcada Contra Droga movement? So, enhancement of personal and interpersonal skills. So, we also harness the leadership potential of a student or an individual. Avail of local, national, regional, international trainings on drug abuse prevention and establish network and linkages to various agencies, organizations, implementing drug abuse prevention programs. So we have four phases of BKD. Phase one is launching of BKD. Phase two, mass media campaign. Phase three, youth mobilization. And phase four, search for Outstanding con Barcada Contra Droga. Kato atong gidaogan. So, ang phase one is the presentation of the BKD concept. Moni atong gihimo karon. Uh, we also did this in the school. Nya mayo ng pagka organize ang atong BKD here. Then, enlistment and induction, enlistment and induction of BKD members. Issuance of BKD IDs. Guided educational tours to relevant offices and rehabilitation institutions. Phase two, launching of the campaign through BKD Fun Run or BKD Concert with media coverage. So this November, ang ato ang end up coordinator si Ma'am Danilino, ang ato ang BKD coordinator has a lineup of activities already for the National Drug Abuse Prevention Month. So series of radio, TV, plugs on BKD to create awareness, sustain interest in the program, and gain more, gain more advocates. And press releases, news features through major newspapers and community newspapers. Mami nyo po nang appeal sa inyo hang school paper. Okay. So phase three is the training of core groups on life skills, leadership, income generating opportunities, and resource mobilization. So also with the uh, division memorandum, no, we uh, have the formation of BKD chapters, formulation of action plans by BKD chapters, 
adoption of alternative activities by the BKD chapters, and establishing BKD center, and setting up of citizens' brigade using calls or text messaging or karon sa social media ang atong FB. So phase four is the search for outstanding BKD chapters. So leaders to recognize and honor the most active chapters or leaders. And that's what we are aspiring for. Nga mahimutang national winner. Karon, kitang tanan. Kitang tanan ma'am pa doon sa Manila. Kung makadawag ta. Oo daw. La. <laughs> ma'am, nabungol si ma'am Acosta. <laughs> Dalhon daw nato si Chief Espinido, inig madaog nata. Or dapat ma'am si Chief Espinido inig anhi sa National Validators na amo tanan. Sige, hopefully. Thank you. So, BKD pro proposed organizational structure. Here the program manager, coordinator, assistant coordinator. In place na ni siya dinhi sa City High mo nang nakadaog ta. Then, formula to win the fight against dangerous drugs. No, no drugs equals success. Nurture your dreams. Obey the authorities. Don't even think about it. Resist negative, negative peer pressure through barkadahan. Then use healthy alternatives. Mauna katong smile. Then, God is the answer. Say no to drugs. Okay. Be one of us, Barkada Mo, Barkada Ko, Salina. Join the Barkada Contra Droga and be a proud member. So, through your donations also, pwede... Ang usa na sa activities sa schools mo na ang poster slogan making contest. So makasupport mo sa para sa mga materials o sa prices. Then okay, salina. Barkada ba ang hanap mo? Okay, ang ilaha na silay sining, ah? na silay katong inyohang contest. Sa BKD. Got talent. BKD got talent. Makijam na. Sa droga, mabilis kang maupos. Huwag ka agad magpaupos. Okay. Naghan kayong salamat. Na. We have more materials inyong ma-access through sa DDB o sa PIDEA. Good afternoon. And... Hope kita ang mugawas nga champion. Congratulations to one and all once again. Thank you very much. Once more, a big round of applause for our division and the coordinator, Dr. Alice Fesi Padiranga. And may I just reiterate that among all secondary schools in the 14 divisions of Northern Mindanao, Ozami City National High School has been declared as the champion in the search for the outstanding Barkada Contra Droga implementers. And again, a famous, I mean, a very catchy line from our regional validator that says, Grabe ang suporta sa stakeholders sa Ozami. Shall we give ourselves a big round of applause? It has been possible, it has become possible because of the very massive support Ozami si National High School has coming from our stakeholders. And let's learn more about the things that the implementation of Barcada Contra in I mean Barcada Contra Droga in Ozami si National High School has gone through with the discussion on the significant impact to the school, the learners, and the community. And with this, we have our school Barcada Contra coordinator. Ma'am Jane C. Manili, a big hand, please. Thank you, Sir Joey. My due respect to our, uh, to our chief in the school, for a uh, chief SGOD, Ma'am 
Mom. Mom Susan, B. Carpio, to all the division personnel, to our secondary school principal, to Mom Lilibeth Abamunga, to all our loved stakeholders who are the reasons why we won. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. So I am tasked to make everyone informed on what is the reason why we won. So let's answer that one. Let's talk about Barcada Contra Droga in Ozami City National High School. We do have our uh, tagline, Droga ay iwasan upang gumanda ang kinabukasan. Shall we read that all together? Start. Oh, uh, let's read that with energy. One more time, go. All right, so now the rationale for the implementation of BKD, we do have, it is an essential peer-based preventive education from the word preventive. So it actually stops uh, the, the individual from getting into drugs uh, or taking illegal drugs. An information program to fight the dangerous and disastrous effects of drug abuse. This work at the hand is composed of committed young people in school who are advocates of healthy and drug-free lifestyles through involvement in various wholesome activities that would strengthen camaraderie, collaboration, cooperation, solidarity, and linkages in their common commitment to attain a drug-free lifestyle. What is our vision? So, we have only one vision, and that is to create an empowered, grabby, with power, productive, productivo, and drug-free community. We wish to achieve that Ozami City is a drug-free city, a drug-free community with decent and principled learners. Our mission, we aspire to institutionalize Bikini where students are aware of the evil effects of drugs and promote drug-free and healthy lifestyles. Students engage in sports, arts, peer counseling, and other profitable alternative activities instead of taking illegal drugs. And lastly, students, parents, teachers, and other stakeholders in the community work hand in hand to combat drug addiction. That's why we are here. Uh, we do have also our objectives. We have institutionalized Barkadahan concept in curriculum and instruction. So BKD is actually integrated in every lesson across all learning areas. Establish support services in advocating a healthy and productive drug-free lifestyle. Promote BKD programs as means to counter the ill effects of drug addiction. Train students and teachers to become core leaders against drug abuse. That's why we do have our organization and our support groups. And intensify partnership and involvement among stakeholders. Okay. First, we establish the, the organization by electing BKD officers and support group officers. Okay. Our first activity was actually the Lakao Contra Droga and BKD launching, which took place last November, November 14, 2018, okay, wherein the students brought placards and walked along the street from, from the school, going to Gigi, going to Pingol, and back to Ozami City National High School. And next, we also did we also participated in Coastal Cleanup or the International Coastal Cleanup, which took place um, last September 27 in partnership with La Salle University. Then we also did the Values Formation uh, last July 18, 2018, uh, sponsored by the Guidance Office. And we did a lot of Memorandum of Understanding, signing with stakeholders, and we are partners and so we have to legally be partners, okay? Then we also have the functionality of BKD Center, 
our BKD Center is actually found uh, the, beside the mini arts. Then we also have BKD hubs, okay, from for every special programs and for every curriculum. Then we also did the search for best classroom and the BKD corner. So it. Every classroom in Ozami City National High School has in-depth BKD corner where informative materials are posted, uh, uh, sports materials are there for the students to enjoy during their free time. Then we do have BKD projects like mural painting, okay, from grade seven, and we do have for the classroom. Continue, sir. Then we do have. Uh, other BKD projects, okay, as shown. We also did the attendance to Barangay Tinago Assembly, wherein we did a, an information campaign uh, to all the community people in Tinago to strengthen our partnership and to encourage their kids, to their children to join BKD. Then BKD Information Driving School, we do have a lot of um, tarpaulins posted in every corner of the school and thanks to you our stakeholders for without you we won't have this okay then we don't have to have big ID awareness through printed materials so we do have our brochure distributed in every classroom in the school and we are also featured in the green on white the official student publication of Osami City and we do have our official publication of Barcada Contra Droga. We do have the BKD Central Echo, wherein all the activities are actually recorded, documented, and presented. And for BKD Med Awareness through media with our partner, uh, Mindanawan Broadcasting Channel. Now let's continue with the support groups or the smile. But before I'm going to discuss to you the smile, I want to see your smile first. Your big smile. Okay. So let's start with our the S or the Sinning Contra Droga. So it targets to increase students' engagement in the field of music and arts instead of involvement in drug addiction and encourage the youth to become agents of healthy lifestyle through creative expression and showcase of talents. Thankfully, we do have our special program in the arts here in the school. So they are actually the prime movers or the leaders for this support group. They, all, they also conducted several activities like poster slogan contra droga. Then, BKD Got Talent, last December 11, 2018. Okay. Next, for the M, is the Media Contra Droga. Uh, it seeks to heighten awareness among the youth about the negative effects of illegal drugs through the use of social media sites and promote responsible social media etiquette among millennials. Especially that nowadays, our children are tech savvy already. So... Just a swipe, just a click, they have all the pieces of information there. So we took that opportunity to reach to them, okay, so that they will be informed also. We do have our page, Barcada Contra Droga OCNHS. They also uh, conducted activities like Take a Groofy, Be Drug Free. In Take a Groofy, Be Drug Free, especially that our children, uh, I know this is really... Uh, relatable to everyone, especially the parents, that our children really love to take selfies. So we grab that uh, chance also to, um, to, to uh, tickle their minds and their creativity that they will take a selfie with their peers and they will make a caption. Why is your barcada the best barcada? Okay, then let's continue with the video jingle contra droga. So instead of having the usual jingle contest, we made it on, we uploaded the video on our page. Okay. 
And then sports contra droga, which intends to build camaraderie and sportsmanship among students through sports engagement and embody a healthy lifestyle rather than harming one's health. We conducted a volleyball cup last November 23 to 25, 2018, during the National Drug Education or Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Month celebration. For the L, Livelihood Contra Droga. It engages students in entrepreneurial activities as a way to combat illegal drug addiction and develop potential skills of students with regard to entrepreneurial aspects in order to prepare themselves in the real world. Uh, as shown in the picture, students' output, outputs are actually displayed and displayed and also bought by by teachers, by parents, and by their own classmates. So it's a good thing that there's actually an application of what they learn from the inside of the classroom. They also did uh, cook binignit, hot cake, and they sold them. That's actually developing our youth, our children, to be ready uh, because business is really uh, will really make you a better person, will really m make you someone or can really feed your family in the future. So as early as now, we are training them. Next, we do have Educación Contra Droga. It aims to empower students through freedom of expression on the current issues in the community in relation to drug abuse involvement and develop cognitive skills of the students on the effects treatment and prevention of prohibited drugs. We conducted Sulat Contra Droga or the Easy Writing Contest and Kahibalo Contra Droga or the Quiz B. Okay. Before we continue, what does S stand for for SMILE? Cine. M stands for? Media. I stands for? Sports. L stands for? Livelihood. And E stands for? Okay, Educacion. Let's continue. We do have several uh, symposia, seminar, and fora conducted. First, we do have the Positive Parenting, sponsored by the CSWD. Okay. We are not only empowering our students, but as well as our parents. Because when we are educating our children, it's not only the job of the school, but as well as the entire community, especially the parents. Next, we have Cyber Wellness Symposium, especially that, uh, as, as I mentioned a while back, they can easily get pieces of information uh, on, on social media sites, be it in Google, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Messenger, and, and everything. Next, we do have Drug Education Symposium, sponsored by the CADAC or Community Anti-Drug Abuse Council. Then, Smoking and Its Effects by the City Health Office. Then, Hazards of Teenage Pregnancy by the Population Commission, okay, or Popcom. Now, let's proceed. Oh, as, aside from those mentioned, we also conducted the True Love Waits. Uh, sponsored by Singles for Christ uh, because nowadays um, even ch ch small children like grade 7 na na sila uyam then excited sila maka uyam then so we opted to have that uh, symposium also so that they will be informed okay in the spiritual uh, in manner like in in religious uh, uh, perspective. So let's wait, okay? Then we also conducted HIV awareness. Uh, the, our speaker was actually the, the head of the city health office by that time. Then let's proceed with the impact. So what's the effect of all these activities mentioned a while back? If you notice that we do have in our data Junior high school overall summary of referrals taken from our guidance office in 2017-2018, that's in blue. 
and for 2018 to 2019 that's in red so if you notice in the year 2017 to 2018 there is actually a very significant increase in gang fraternity involvement okay and luckily during the implementation of Biki Day, it, it becomes zero. So, thanks to all of you. Thanks to all of us. Okay. Then we also have bullying. Bullying has decreased also uh, from 2017 to 2018. And also misconduct or disobedience. Okay. So, if you notice, if you look at the data, it shows that there is a really a significant difference when it comes to the attitude, the skills, the engagement of our learners because of BKD. That's for junior high school. Let's continue with the senior high school. Okay. The data that we got from the senior high school was only last year. And it's a challenge for us this school year, for all of us this school year, to to decrease the no no uniform cases okay so we are actually taking action that uh about this one because we were for this school year we have expanded our program instead of smile we made it 3k smile we have the kalikasan kalusugan and kalitasan kontra troka and there were actually a lot of there are actually a lot of activities that will be implemented for this school year and are already implemented this school year. Okay. And since we do have all the data in there, we also had a chance to make an action research if the activities that we have conducted are actually useful, are actually relevant to the learners or do they serve their purpose or not okay and this was uh, this were the pictures taken during the bkd division validation we are so thankful that ozami city national high school is actually really monitored closely monitored by the division office uh, technical assistance were given and pieces of information were transpired to us to better our service to our children, to our youth. And we do have the BKD regional validation. Thankfully, they were really amazed by our, uh, by our program, by our organization. Okay? And that's because of you. That's because we take hand in hand in making our children better each and every day. I hope that we continue to support one another para sa bata, para sa bayan. Thank you and good afternoon. And there we have it, friends. Mga Kabarkada, our BKD coordinator of the school, Ma'am Jane C. Manili, answering or make, helping us answer the question, why Ozami C. National High School won among all the secondary schools in the 14 divisions of Northern. And with that, our stakeholders deserve another round of applause. This activity is for you as we recognize your important role, not only in the implementation of Barcada Contra Droga, but all of the programs and projects of the Department of Education here in our school. And as we recognize you, we would now have the awarding of the certificates of recognition to our dear stakeholders. May I request the Chief Education Supervisor of the School Governance Operations Division of Ozami City, Chief Susan Epifania B. Carpio, together with our, our division and the coordinator, Dr. Alice Fe Paderanga, and our school principal, Ma'am Lilibeth Y. Abamonga. Ozami City National High School, Ozami City, gives this certificate of appreciation for being a Barcada Contra Droga stakeholder in grateful acknowledgement for the valuable support which contributed to the noteworthy achievement of Barcada Contra Droga 
being rank one during the regional search for the outstanding Barcada Contra Droga Implementer among secondary schools in Northern Mindanao during the school year 2018-2019. Given this 26th day of September 2019 at Ozami City National High School, Ozami City. We give the certificate of appreciation and please give a big round of applause to Police Major Jovi R. Espinido, Chief of Police, Ozami City Police Station, as represented by Police Captain Sheila Acosta. A big round of applause. And aside from that certificate, Police Captain Sheila Acosta would have hers. A big round of applause. Sail from the PNP Ozamis Police Station, once more Police Captain Sheila Acosta. We also give the same certificate of appreciation to Honorable Catherine C. Lim, City Councilor of Ozamis. A big hand, please. We have this one for our General PTA President, Sir Yuland H. Engrasha. A big hand, please. Chairman Education Committee and Barangay Kagawad of Lamaan, a big hand for Honorable Joel Z. Patigayon. <laughs> Population Program Officer of the City Health Office, Ma'am Lynette E. Bahaw, RN. Let's have this certificate of appreciation to the manager of Mindanawan Broadcasting Channel, Ma'am Expedita Rojas Chen. The same certificate is also given to the editor of the Mindanawan Broadcasting Channel, our media partner, Sir Rafael T. Boscagan. We'll have the certificate for the SK Chairman of Barangay Lamaan and is also the Federated President of the Sangguniang Kabataan of Azami City, Honorable Erwin B. Ochavillo. CAT Team Leader of the City Link, Sanjeev G. Tan, RSW. From DSWD or the Department of Social Work and Development, Syra J. Ballard, take a big round of applause. And smile as we have here in Azami City National High School, Project 3K Smile. From the City Social Welfare and Development Office, Ma'am Miriam Polito, RSW. Thank you very much. We say thank you and as we give the certificate of appreciation still, from CSWD, Ma'am Apple Jane Maligdong. Let's continue recognizing and acknowledging our stakeholders. We have here the Certificate of Appreciation for the Sangguniang Kabataan of Ozami staff, Nori May O. Santiago. And of course, representing the Sangguniang Kabataan President, Honorable Erwin Ochavillo. And from the religious sector, we give the Certificate of Appreciation to Pastor Alfonso J. Bitet of Kamakop, Azami City. From the business sector, Certificate of Appreciation is given to Crown Paper and Stationer.
We also recognize the great support of Metro Ozami's Prime Water. And the certificate is also given to representative of Arlene S. Estela. And from our, I mean, for our barangay officials, certificate of appreciation is awarded to the barangay chairman of Dinago, Honorable Ricky R. Fuentes, ably represented by the chairman of the Committee on Education, Barangay Gagawad, Honorable Anthony Nino Saladaga. And with that, Kotihal, you'll also have your own certificate of appreciation once again representing Barangay Tinago. Thank you very much. Goshen Home Care and Furnishing Incorporated. There you go, for being our Barcada Contra Droga stakeholder. We also have another stakeholder with the massive support. Thank you very much. Bryant Milling and Marketing Azami City. This certificate of appreciation is given to Johan's Cuisine. We have this Certificate of Appreciation to another staff of the Sangguniang Kabataan Federation Office, Ms. Christile M. Opon. A big hand, please. We also have this Certificate for Lemor M. Maniares. And from the local government unit, we give this certificate of appreciation to Shernel M. Casinto. We also have here okay, Mr. Lemor Monares. This certificate of appreciation is given to the representative still from DSWD. We have Ma'am Vivian V. Fodalan. We also have Bonnie Bell C. Lianos. There we go. We have here our stakeholders from the City Social Welfare and Development Office. And there we go. Our big and resounding applause to all our stakeholders. And we have this more. And this one is for Mampad Gina Fe Cabajo. And we also have here still from the PNP Azamis, Ma'am Michelle Gay Cause.
There we go. Once again, a resounding applause for all our stakeholders. We will always and forever be grateful to you because again, may the Oktakay grabe ang suporta sa stakeholders in the implementation of Barkada Contra Droga in Ozami City National High School. So kitang tanan mga kabarkada as we fight against the effects of illegal drugs to our learners and to the community. And at this time, for the words of challenge, we have the Chief Education Supervisor of the School Governance and Operations Division of Zami City, Chief Susan Epifania B. Carpio. A big hand, please. Thank you, Joey. To all our magnanimous stakeholders representing private establishments, religious sectors, and other government agencies. Uh, of course, the Ozama City National High School family, headed by the ma very maabtik na principal, dili maabtikon, Betham maabtik yun, nga principal. Our BKD implementers, and of course, my colleagues from the division office, Doki Alice, uh, Jasmine, and to all of you, good afternoon, everyone. In the name of the Department of Education, through the leadership of our school's division superintendent, Mr. Edilberto L. Oplenaria, I wish to thank all of you for your sustained commitment and support, uh, which come in various uh, terms, like your money, money, bahalag magagmay o madagko, your resources, your effort, your time, even your presence. Extended to Ozami City National High School, uh, and this time, uh, specifically for Barkada Contra Droga. Thank you very much. During the regional post-evaluation conference, uh, which was held here right after the evaluation, uh, when we faced the evaluators, we were asked uh, about the extent of our knowledge regarding BKD or Barkada Contra Droga. The stakeholders, the students, the implementers were asked. Also, the impact of the program. Kasabot ba taon sa nang impact? Kana bang unsay epekto? Dili lang kay ang programa mismo, pero pagkahuman nga napahigayon ng programa programa on sa may nahitabo na karon. After having bagged the first place in the regional level, we are set to join the national contests and we are preparing for it. We should realize, I hope that you have already seen this, we should realize the need not only to know but to internalize the following. Number one, the legal basis and expected results. Gamay ra ni ay kabalaka. Legal basis, di ba nahatag na to gani ha? Dapat daw mahibalo ta. Legal basis nga ano nga nag-exist man ng barkada kontra droga. Huwag kung sa may tumong na to dito sa tumoy. Letter B, awareness. Dapat nga heightened or level up ang awareness sa itong mga stakeholders sa details regarding the implementation of this program. Kay pananglitan, during the validation, kung kita ang masapnan nga ma-interview, o bisag kung sa kanindot ang atong program, pero wala man tayo ikatubag. No, mawala tanan ang paningkamot sa mga implementers. So kinahanglan yun ha, nga manghangi umi sa inyo, nga mag-effort on that tagamay, nga mahibalog yun ta. Unsa na ganito? Katong smile? Sealing, media, sports, livelihood, and education. O ni apag yun, isa, second to the last. The difference between the figures in the pre-evaluation and the post-evaluation. Di ba nakakita at ganihaw baseline data? Pagkahuman sa programa, mausob ba ito nga data? Naabay kausaban sa mga data, sa mga pro problem, mga sa to, cases, no? sa mga problems nga gisangat sa atong mga kabataan, din hi sa guidance counselor, din hi sa principal's office, expected ba nga magamay kini nga mga numero? 
samtang naglahutay ni nga pro kuan programa. And the last, the impact of the program. Kana agyod, napangutan ang yun ni Ana. Unsa man ang nakita ninyo nga impact sa program. Unsa may binisaya Ana, Miss A, ang impact? Epekto, long-term effect of the program. Nakatubag ko at tukas a, ah, kay I am very proud nga na, nasunod ni sa akong huna-huna because our residence is just at the corner. Huwag nakadumdum ba ko nga before this BKD, ini ka mahapon, past five, when I go home, na ay magkinulatahay din ha, dapit sa tubang sa mong balay. Yeah, lately, wala namang kukakita. So I attribute that to this program. Dinalipay kayo ang evaluator nga naminaw ni Ana because the impact should not only be seen inside the school but also outside the school, meaning in the community. Diba? Kaya kung mauragi hapon, kakinula tayo lang gihapon din ha, pag sa klase, na may epekto, ma'am, Beth, sa ato ang BKD. Kaya the same man, as usual, magpangyod, magdugo-dugo sila din ha, kay inigawas, manggawas ang mga gang. Murag mini, ang sana siya? Ang sana nga fight, ang ilang ginabuhat din ha. So, hinaot pa, nga nakasabot mo, nga no, nga kinahanglan na to, nga timanan. Kining mga butang nga akong nasultigan niha, wala po siguro nagkula, nagkulang ang management because we have just uh, presented to you some of the things that I have mentioned, I think all. And para unsa gani ni, nga ato ning timanan, so that we can articulate issues about this program maayo ta nga musulti we can be conversant master na to or sweat to ta sa kaning ginabuhat sa mga implementers ani nga programa and as a result what is expected of us we can show that we have what ownership of this program kita ba dire karuntanan dili dapat nga bystander lang ta dapat nakapanag-iya ta ani nga programa. That's why kinahanglan yun nga nasayod ta, kahibalo ta. O sa katapusan, finally, mauna ni akong ikabilin uh, as a challenge, kanatong tanan, whether you belong to the group of internal or external stakeholders. One question lang. Are we willing to take on the responsibility to push more for the BKD or the Barkada Contra Droga Program to be successful and effective, to enable our students to grow and learn in a drug-free school and community. So whether it is a yes or a no, na anana sa inyo. Daghang salamat. Thank you very much, Chief Susan. It's always a yes coming from our stakeholders. The challenge is for us for us rather, to push more. And of course, it's also a goal of winning this time because kumbaga, mission accomplished na ta sa regional level and let's get the gold in the national level. And with that, we need more of your help. The challenge also of Chief Susan to, to us stakeholders is for us to be informed so that the moment that the validators would ask us we know and we can easily answer and share important and salient features of the Barcada Contra Droga. Above all, BKD is ours. We all own the Barcada Contra Droga implementation here in Ozami City National High School. And to accept the challenge in behalf of all the stakeholders, we have the general PTA president of Azami City National High School. A big round of applause for Mr. Yulad H. Engrasha. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in behalf of the stakeholders, I'd like to extend my thanks. Uh, the unconditional support of our schools. So, for, for the next level, I'd like to request all the stakeholders to rise. All the stakeholders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last time, we give, uh, we accept the challenge, but now we will still 
accept the challenge for this program, the BTV. So I'd like to request everyone, we will still accept the challenge. We will still accept the challenge. Another one, we will still accept the challenge. Thank you and good afternoon. I know that everyone is up and is here to support the challenge we are here to accept and do more in the challenge droga ay iwasan upang gumanda ang kinabukasan at this time we will go or we will proceed to the signing of the stakeholders on the pledge of commitment wall free of zombie Thank you very much to our dear stakeholders coming from the different sectors, different organizations, and the different agencies. As we believe that it takes a village to train up a child, it takes the help of everyone to accomplish the vision, mission, and goals of the Department of Education, specifically the Barcada Contra Droga. We are all the Barcadas in here. Droga ay iwasan upang gumanda ang kinabukasan. Affixing our signatures on the Pledge of Commitment Wall would mean our 200% support in all the activities under the CN by the Zami City National High School, Division of the Zami City, and the entire Department of Education. And later on, 
we would have the older visual presentation on the while you will be enjoying the snacks and later on please don't go home yet because we would like to join you in the photo opportunity as we capture more moments and great more memories in the implementation of Barcada Water Broca in our school. But this time, so let's enjoy the snacks and after which we will have the audiovisual presentation. Shall report. This is a shall report.